Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel. As you can see, we're working on the Jewel's Peaceful Valley map and we're getting a, a little bit of work done here and there. Got the store, uh, grocery store a little bit done. We're not finished fully yet. We're going to probably go ahead and move over here a little bit. I'm thinking about making this area potentially the area for the debris crusher but I'm not sure yet I'm trying to decide what in the world I want to do we've got this building here and technically it was kind of like an office for the motor place but it doesn't have to be so I mean it doesn't have anything in here so it doesn't necessarily have to be that um, you know so I mean, it does say clever motors everywhere, though. And I don't know. We may or may not keep these here, so I don't know yet. That's the only thing. It says motors. So I might end up making it something else. Um, what we probably should end up doing is putting cars over here and pretend like this is the store that you buy stuff. And then you just park all kind of stuff out here in this little area over here. Like it, it's kind of like the show area. So I don't know, We I was thinking about doing the debris crusher here, but, hmm, we need to find a spot for it, that's for sure. Where do we want a debris crusher at? Hmm, we got the grocery store here. We'll, we'll either put the fire department over here or over there, I believe is what we've decided. We've got a park over there, but I'm not sure. I think we was going to put the fire department closer over here somewhere, but I'm not sure kind of all up in the area you got to decide I got I'm gonna put a lot of houses I think over here and then we're gonna have to finish this area uh, we could this is the workshop the, where you fix your uh, vehicle I gotta put these somewhere I didn't realize they was hanging out over here they go over there at the store control B left mouse click left mouse click and control b left mouse click left mouse click well if it finish it there we go we'll get them over there oh we got a one of these let's put it up at the top up here control b we'll just stick it right there for now get it out of the way anyway oh we got a trash can get it over there throw it over here where it belongs all right there may be stuff under there too let me look I don't see anything right now. We'll see. Alright, so we got that. What we could do, potentially, if we want to, we got this big old area back here. Nothing in it. And this is the workshop area, but the back side could be the debris crusher area. Because it's already pretty flat. It's next to the grocery store. It's, it's next to all the different things. I'm thinking I'm going to put it here. So, I'm trying to decide what section of it. We're going to turn in here, and you got a turn in spot there. So I'm wondering, do I put it here or up closer? I'm almost thinking put it on the corner here. I don't know how big it is. Let's go ahead and import it. And we're not going to finalize it. We're just putting it in today. So D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Farm Sim 22. Yours could be in C drive if your game main game is in C drive. Your Farm Sim game. Data. Uh, placeable. Hang on. Double click it. And in this case, I uh, believe we're in Lizard. Selling points. Let me find it. Selling points. Debris crusher. Double click. Click on the i3D. Click open. Control B. Left mouse click. Left mouse click. So we're going to turn that around, obviously. Um, let's see, put it at a, a 6, maybe. Let's see if that straightens it. No? Okay. Well, let's just turn it to line it up the best we can. Don't have to be perfect. That's pretty good. Let's lift it just a bit. It's got that little trigger. Alright, let's roll down so we can see our trigger. Bring it on up. Okay, so we're okay. We're gonna we're gonna put it down on the ground to where it 
it hits the ground. We're going to have to change the ground level a little bit. It, I thought it was more level than that, but it might not be. So, we'll start with the front and make the back come up a little, I guess. Okay. It's the only way I know, because I thought it was level, though. Looks pretty level to me, but it must not be. See? I mean, you could technically tilt it, you know, to be level. But I don't really want it to look tilted, even though it technically would if they just throw it on the ground that way. Yeah, we, we might just tilt it a little bit. Just a little bit. And then bring it down. Let's see what we got here. Bring it down, down. Alright, that's pretty good. I, I think I was close on the tilt. Yeah. Real close. So. Let me see if that part's hitting. Okay, this side's not quite hitting. So the tilt ain't, it needs to come forward just a hair. Is that too much? No, I think it's pretty good. Now I don't know, I know that you can dump stuff in the top and you got your trigger. So I'm trying to decide how far back. I don't think there's anything that needs to be done behind here. So we, we shouldn't have a problem with the fence being here. So that should be enough room to maneuver uh, and to dump or whatever you want to do. And I think you can dump it. So we'll have plenty of room to dump whatever over on this side right here. And that way, we're right next to this. So as soon as we come in, we can whip right over there and dump them rocks right out. Then we can run on over here and get our ice cream. <laughs> then we can run on over here and work on our vehicle. Or run back over here and go buy a new vehicle. So I think that's a pretty good little spot for it. All right, we found our place. Now, we're not going to set it up on this episode. I do have a video of one way of setting it up. Now, the way that I showed on the other video was more if you was going to do it as a custom. Uh, and I didn't make it custom, but it's more if you were going to do, do it custom, you would add it to your map that way. Um, when I show you the next one, it'll be a little different. So, because it, cause it's not going to be custom. I think I need to lower this thing. I think we still don't have it tilted just right. See that? Let's tilt it a little bit more. Back, back, back. One, two, one more. Come on. It goes a little further. There we go. Right there. That's it. Right there. And I'm going to knock it right on down until it touches. I think that's good. The front looks pretty good. As long as it's touching. I mean, it might be floating. We can always lift the ground up if we have to. We'll see. It does look like it's up there a little bit, don't it? We're going to have to tilt it a little bit. It's hard to get it to stop where you want it. It's being a pain. Yeah, you can do the numbers, but... Let's just try this for now. I'm going to go one click down. One down. I'm going to lift this up now. Let's see what we got. Right there. Right there. See if that's okay. It's still not touching perfectly. The front's okay, so I'm going to lift this up back here a little hair. Let's just put it on this uh, add and keep it low. And just tap it up a bit to touch that. There we go. And we're done. We don't have to have it. It, does, it just needs to show that it's on the ground. Every little piece of the ground does not have to be perfect. It's fine. 
Just as long as this touches this foot. I gotta turn a little bit. That's all I'm concerned with right there. Okay. Let me see. It's good enough. Let's look under there. That one's just touching. Okay. And everybody else is touching. Alright. And our trigger is exposed still. Where we can get a hold of it and dump in there. So it should be high enough. And we're good to go. Now we'll just check this uh, angle. Let's see if we like the angle. It's a little crooked. Let's tilt it. Uh, a little bit, not too much. Hang on. I don't know, that's pretty close. Just a little bit. That looks pretty close. I mean, I hate to move it. I'm going to leave it. Anyway, that's what we got done on this episode. We just got our debris crusher in there. Now, we're not going to set it up yet. That will probably be the next episode. But I am going to put um, some stuff over here. We might scoot that back a little bit, honestly. Let's try it. We may have to make our ground a little touched up a little bit. I don't want it to be too close. Let's check our ground again. Still good, still good. That one has to change just a little bit. Let's fix that. Alright, let's fix this on the back side. We'll put it back on add. Tap, tap, tap till it comes up touches that. Tap it a little further back so that this part touches it. Alright. Tap it on the inside of hair. You can see that part needs to touch. Alright, check this side out, you can see we can do this side, tap it up, there we go, let's undo that, it went a little high, there we go, just enough to touch it, and that should be alright, there we go, now we're going to hit save, and we'll be ready to go when we try to add it into our XML. And uh, actually, you know, we've pretty well done most of the work. We could add it, but I, I, I can't test it on this round because I don't have everything set up for that yet. But you can go test yours. If you got a problem, go look back at the other video and it'll probably explain it to you. But it, in the meantime, I'm going to click on this. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you. All right, go down to the visuals. I think it's this one. No, it's effects. Go to the effects. Click on effects. Click uh, over here in the attributes box and turn uh, this invisible so this won't show up in game. And then uh, you could go back up and click on that and see where that's highlighted. I would, since you don't have any markers yet, you could add markers. Go high. Go above it right over the top of it just temporary just so you get markers or go ahead and get markers put this on something like dirt and then go over this square make sure it's on add and try to make sure you're kind of close to it and you're just gonna click it up undo that one was too far over we're gonna back up over here and that's good enough. Just something to say where it's going to be. Uh, so you'll know. And we're going to go ahead and add it. What you're going to do is go to um, your file explorer. Go ahead and hit save in the meantime. So you got that saved. Alright. And now you're going to go to your file explorer. And run on back down to it. You can look at it real quick before we do anything. Okay, see all this is going to get called. It's got this uh, XML, Debris Crusher XML, Edit with Notepad++. Plus Plus. It's got the name. It's got the, it, what it is. It's got the, the picture. Uh, it's got all the information. It's got the, the, debr the Debris Crusher i3D. It's got 
what it needs to do to the ground. Uh, it's got these little things, the, the marker icons unload and everything. One's for the top of the thing and one's on the ground. It's got the teleport thing to get there. It's just got all these extra things uh, set up. And so basically it's going to get all this information and, and call it all, basically. Um, so we should be able to just link it and make it call it. So let's go look. And we're going to check real quick. We're going to go to D drive. Steam library, Steam apps, common, Farm Sim 22, data, um, maps, maps US. We're going to go to the store items first in this case and hit edit with notepad plus plus. And we're going to see if they have a debris crusher. And I don't think they do, but they do have it in our map on Elm Creek. So I'm going to work from the assumption that you don't need the debris crusher store item but if for some reason you're having problems add it meaning grab a line and make it say the path to the debris crusher XML but I don't see one in here they didn't add one to there so I'm, a, my, I'm working from that assumption that, that we don't need it for that one okay so we got all this other stuff but we don't have that so we're gonna close that we're going to go look at, we're going to go to their placeables because we got to get that information. So we're just going to come back in here where we were. We'll lift this up where you can see it. Go to the placeables XML, the main game. Edit with Notepad++. Find the debris crusher line, which is here. Left click on it. Hold down left mouse button. Drag it over. You can grab that green part if you want to. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. It really, it really doesn't matter. Uh, if you do choose to try to organize yours like theirs, you can do that. Uh, cause that just is telling it what it is. It's not really important. The green is not so important. So you can either get it or don't get it. It's up to you. Right click. And in, in fact, we'll just, in this case, we'll just leave it. And then right click and click copy. And then click off of it. Close this so we don't erase nothing. And it popped me back where I should be, but I'm going to take you there just to make sure you know to go to documents, my games, farm sim 22 mods double click the map name go to your xml go to your placeables right click edit with notepad plus plus come in here click at the end of whichever the last line was of the short stuff because that's when we're going to add it because it's a short line if it was one of these it's got all this extra stuff you can throw it at the very bottom of all these but it, otherwise i would put it up here and hit enter and go to the beginning and click there and hit paste and then click in front of the placeable line and tap it over a little bit click in front of the file name tap it over a little bit you don't have to do that just choose who if you want to you don't have to in a minute we can move that but it's we're going to put these numbers in here as you can see it's telling it to go to placeables uh, data placeables lizard selling points sell uh, debris crusher debris crusher XML um, I, all we need to go get right now is our numbers we're going to grab them. Make sure you're on the main highlighted debris crusher, the one with all of its stuff in there. And you're going to grab these numbers, translate X, click at the end of the numbers, shift control C is in cat, go to the notepad plus plus, go on that line of the debris crusher in between the quotation marks, right there, right click and paste. It popped that over for me. Drag this over, get ready to do the rotate, go back in to the Giants editor, click at the end of the rotate X at the end of the numbers, hit shift control and C as in cat, go back to the notepad plus plus, click at the end uh, on the same line as the debris crusher at the where the rotation is, drag it over, left click, drag it over, hold it down of course, right click in the middle of there and click paste, then you're going to hit save. And in this case, we're not going to add a store item because they didn't, but if for some reason you ever need to, add it don't worry just add it you can try it out first and if if it's one that has one in theirs add it if the one they don't you don't have to to start with then if you run into problems you can always add it it's not that big a deal okay so there we go now we have that so now 
we have it calling that I3D in our uh, map. Now we're going to go, we already s make sure you hit save, go back to your Giants Editor. Now you got to do one of two things. You got to either delete this now, yeah, the whole group, the whole thing, and hit save. Or if you have a um, placeholders folder, which if you don't have one, look back on my playlist and you can find a video that tells you how to make a playholder, placeholders folder. Make it, do exactly what it says to make it properly, and then come to the debris crusher again, the whole group. Hit your middle mouse scroll wheel, hold it down, look, drag it up while you're holding it down, let go on the placeholders folder, and then open it, go look, make sure it's in there. Debris crusher, there it is. If you put it in your placeholders folder, you don't have to delete it. And the reason you put it in the placeholders folder is so that it'll stay in the Giants Editor where we can see it right here. And we don't have to delete it. We can still see it in our Giants Editor. But it hides it from the end game. It won't show this one in game. It'll show the one that the XML is telling it to open. So we'll jump back real quick and then we'll go in game. Uh, we'll go to D Drive, excuse me, D Drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps. Common, Farm 22, Data, Placeables, uh, let me see, Lizard, and then find the Selling Points, and then the Debris Crusher. It's, this XML is calling this I3D. So when we put that XML name in our Placeables from inside our map over in that, in the Notepad++, plus plus, we put this XML Path, data, placeables, lizard, that's what we put in there. That was the thing we put in the placeables.xml to call this. This calls this I3D, and that's what you see in the game. So you don't, if you don't delete it, you'll see two. There'll be two in the game, and you won't realize it, but there'll be two there if you don't delete it or put it in the placeholders folder. You need to hit save or put your career start point where you're at. Just for the sake of that. You still have that. It's going to take you there on this. But we're going to put it there just to be there. And then we're going to hit save. Go ahead and hit save. And then we can go look in the game. And then we'll see the icon and everything. Okay, once it saves, go on in game. And anyway, I hope everybody's enjoying. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow. If you're getting help from the channel, I would appreciate it if you should subscribe to the channel. We're going to jump on in. Go to 15. Continue. Continue. And continue. Go to the map. Make sure you put your mob, uh, map in the mods folder. It's best to work from there. It's easier when you're testing. If you're going to do something, you need to test in between each thing that you do as far as big things. Now if you're just painting, not so much, but if you're if you're doing XML work you need to test in between each thing or, or most most things. Okay? And we're gonna get this open. Don't forget to share the video to your friends so they might want to learn this too. Check out my channel. Got a lot of map making tutorials. Got a lot of simulator games. And we're gonna jump in. And as you can see there's the icon and the trigger would be where this is. And then we have the one on top. And you notice since I made that thing invisible, it's not showing that big cone looking thing uh, or cylinder looking thing. But if I hadn't have put it invisible, it would have showed it in game. And as you can see, we got it. And of course, we, we can't do anything without going to get some rocks or stone. But So I'm not going to be able to do it right now. But it would work. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and click on the escape button and show you that it has the icon there. See the debris crusher icon? Now we're going to click visit and it takes us here and it drops us right by it. And so now there we go. There's our debris crusher. So as soon as we drive in, we can just whip right over here, dump it out and head on over here or wherever we want to go. But anyway, hope you enjoyed I'm going to call that an episode here. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.